All right, guys. So here we have the PS VR or PlayStation VR, whatever you want to call it. So this is the bundle. Now I decided to try it because I did get the PlayStation 4 Pro. So I was thinking about the VR experience. I've tried the HTC Vive and I've liked it, and, but I don't feel like building a rig anymore. And I'm more into console gaming these days. I don't have anything against. PC gaming, I'm very much for it, but I just don't feel like building a rig and I have a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One, so um, PlayStation 4 being more of my favorite right now. So I decided I'll try the PlayStation VR, so I went and got the bundle for 4 dollars which makes sense. Uh, availability is now much better. So this is, when you open it up, you have two boxes in there. Um, when it comes to packaging, I think they did a better job at packaging this than they did with the PlayStation 4s and PlayStation 4 Pros. Um, I think it's overall a cleaner look. There's no brown boxes like they do with the other ones. So opening it up, this is the PlayStation World um, World's game. So this is included in that bundle. I would recommend the bundle because you get the PlayStation World's game. You'll get the demo disc, which you can also download from the PlayStation Store. Um, you also get two move controllers, which you'll see right in here. Uh, so this is the USB cables. Now looking at these USB cables and the cleaning cloth, um, the USB cables, they have the uh, mini USB connection, not the micro, and you can tell that they go into the move controller because the move controller used that older connection um, as those controls are older. So this is the stand for the camera because the camera is included in this bundle as well. That's why I said it makes a little bit more sense purchasing the bundle because for $4.99 you can get the camera, two move controllers, you get the game and the VR. Otherwise it's just $3.99 and when buying the stuff separately you're going to be adding it up. The camera is the new camera instead of the square one, it's more cylindrical. And here come the move controllers. Now, nothing has changed in those. Hopefully the games will utilize this option more. Uh, you don't necessarily need these for all your games. Uh, some games don't even support it. Um, you can use your uh, PlayStation DualShock 4 controller for most of your games anyway. Now as we keep going into the box further, you get some instructions. All right, so let's go ahead and move over to the big box. Well, let's take this plastic piece off. Now, this is definitely more premium packaging. You can just see the way it opens up. It has a tab on the back that holds it. You get introduced with the PlayStation VR. So if you're setting it up and you haven't seen the instructions, I would recommend you read through this because there's multiple pieces. It's not as easy as just plug and play. Um, it kind of is, but you have to plug and play a lot of pieces to actually get it to work. So, it's very self-explanatory. Everything is labeled. So, this is the first box. Here, you'll just have a power cable. It's a big box for just a power cable. They could have put that a little bit better together. But overall, it's still fairly neat. So, as we kind of keep going further into it, you're going to see the processing unit in here. So this is where you'll have a couple of HDMI connections and you'll have the power connection for the processing unit. So this has its own fan. So you'll see it looks like pretty much like two boxes connected to each other and one of them slides back and forth. Now the way it will work is it's a pass-through. So the one thing that I did not like and some people might find out the hard way is that the pass-through does not support HDR. So if you have an HDR TV, that will not work. You'll have to keep switching the cables. So they also include the HDMI cables and, um, and the other cables for the connection of the headset. So you'll see one HDMI cable, so it'll go from the box to the TV, or you can do it from the box to the PlayStation 4 however you want but it'll be in two HDMI's going into the device itself and this is the headset so overall I think this is one of the better designed headsets 
it's very very comfortable to wear um, now it does smudge up and get dirty but they include the cleaning cloth and you can clean that but when it comes to how it sits on your head and the sensors and the sound it works great and you get headphones and everything so wearing it for a long period of time is not bad it's actually very comfortable much better than the HTC Vive um, and I highly recommend it so far so I'm still gonna test it out and take a look but overall right now just the packaging I definitely recommend it